Well, hello guys. Today I will be showing you how to install macOS Big Sur on your unsupported Mac. Now a few things you will need before we do start this video is a USB drive, at least 16 gigabytes or more, because the installer for Big Sur is like 8.5 gigabytes, so you kind of need a bigger uh, flash drive to make the installer. So you'll want to plug your USB drive into your computer, so I'm going to do that now. And the next thing you will want to get to do is go to your, uh, not system preferences, uh, <laughs> Safari or your web browser of choice. And then you will want to search Ben Sova Big Sur Patcher. And you will want to click here, the top link. Ooh, that's way overexposed. Click on the top link. And then you will want to click right here on releases and click this, the 0.1.2 beta. Uh, then you'll want to go down here and just click patchedsur.dmg. And mine is installed now. So we don't need Safari anymore. Next thing we want to do is just open the DMG. <laughs> There's a hair in the laser of my mouse. Okay, now it's fixed. So uh, the next thing you'll want to do is just uh, double click on Patch Sir. Click, you don't have to click, don't warn me, but next thing you'll want to do is just click Start. And you can see here. Now, here you'll see a list of things that will work and things that will not work after patching uh, on patching Big Sur onto your computer. You can see personal hotspots, some weird this stuff, but uh, everything else here will work, such as AirDrop, USB, FireWire, Thunderbolt, sound, graphics uh, acceleration, all that stuff will work. So then you want to just click continue, and then it'll just tell you how it works. It says uh, a lot can go wrong, but you, if you read the instructions, you will be fine, so don't worry about it. Uh, you'll want to click continue. And I would not go for the public beta or developer release of uh, Big Sur. I would just go for the public release, which is just called release, uh, just to make sure you don't really run into any bugs. And uh, yeah, so click continue. And then you'll just want to uh, click update and click continue. And then this is just going to start downloading uh whatever this stuff is, I guess uh, the Big Sur uh, Kex to make sure everything works. And it'll tell you uh, which uh, versions here. Uh, I actually already have 11.2.3 downloaded because I've done this already. But uh, it should say uh, download 11.2.3 or you can actually uh, do slightly older macOS Big Sur versions, but since I already have 11.2.3, that's what I'm going to go with. So, if you do, uh, if you do do that, you just click download, or if you already have it downloaded like me, you just click continue, and then you type in your password. Oh, what does this mean? The package path was invalid. I must not have it installed anymore. I, I don't know why it uh, thinks that. So I'm just going to close Patch Sir again and open it. So I'll just go through here again. And if this doesn't work, I'll just uh, install it again. So continue. I'll just let this do this again. And use macOS 11.2. And yeah, I guess I'll just have to reinstall it, so that that's probably just a me issue. So I'll open this once more, go through this, continue, continue, let this download once again, and re-download. So uh, this will take a while, depending on your internet connection. Uh, mine is actually okay, not awful, but not that great either. So uh, give this time to download. I don't remember how long it took for me the first time, 
but uh, at least give it like an hour to download, and it'll tell you when it's done. So uh, I'll let this run through, and uh, I'll be back when it's done. Well, okay, since that is done installing, it'll ask you to enter your password so we can create a bootable uh, USB. And we'll just give that a moment here. And now it's just going to ask uh, what <laughs> what USB you want to use. Uh, we're going to use uh, <laughs> this one. <laughs> uh, no reason, just uh, you know, just this one. So then you're going to want to click continue, and then it says it will be erased. And then it's uh, it is now erasing the uh, USB drive. And mounting it, erasing, and now it's copying the installer. Now this will take a while, so I'll let this run, and uh, we'll get back when it's done. Well, so, so once you get your installer USB set up, the process is actually very easy from there. It's similar to actually just making a normal Mac OS install USB and booting into it. So what you'll want to do is go up to your Apple logo and just shut down. And wait for that to uh, shut down. Should only take a moment. And yeah, I don't know. There. Okay, so once your Mac is completely shut down, you'll want to hold Option on your keyboard. If you're using a Windows keyboard, Alt will work. It's like the same, it maps over. But uh, hold down Option or Alt, depending on whatever keyboard you're using, and power on your Mac. And we'll just give this a second. So what we're doing right now is basically going into the boot picker of... Uh, of our Mac, which just shows all of the uh, bootable devices that we have connected or whatever. You can see I have uh, the partition right here for Big Sur, I have my Catalina partition, uh, my time machine shows up but for some reason it doesn't let you boot into that. But you can see that two Big Sur looking things right here, oh my keyboard isn't showing up, but right here and right here are showing up. You'll just want to click on the install Mac OS Big Sur not the EFI boot. And uh, that will take a second to boot depending on which uh, USB type you're using. So we'll just give that a second. Okay, so now we are at the Mac OS Big Sur recovery menu. Now you may notice that this is actually different compared to uh, other Mac OS versions before Big Sur, but it looks kind of it looks similar enough. So what you'll want to do is go into Disk Utility and make sure the partition or whatever drive you're installing on is uh, if you are updating your just normal drive, then you don't have to do this. But if you're installing Big Sur on a separate partition like I am. You'll want to go into, you want to click on the partition button on your drive. And you'll just want to uh, make sure that this is correctly formatted. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and erase my uh, Big Sur drive. So we'll just give this a second here to format. And it's done. So again, you don't have to do this if you're just installing, you're like upgrading from Catalina, putting Big Sur on your unsupported Mac, but uh, I'm putting this on a separate partition, so that's what I'm doing. So now you'll want to close out of Disk Utility and click Install Mac OS Big Sur. Continue, and that will take a minute. It really just depends on the speed of your USB, how fast this installation goes. Click Continue, Agree, Agree again. And then you get a list of, you know, all of this, uh, all of this stuff here. 
So you'll just want to click on your whatever drive you're installing to. So in this case, I'll be installing to the drive called Big Sur, and you click continue. And this happens. So uh, if you are installing Big Sur, uh, it should not take that long if you have an SSD. So I'll just let this run through. Well, here we are. We are in the uh, Big Sur setup. Now, we still have to do uh, one more thing, and that is to patch Kex, just to make sure Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and all that other stuff works, because they uh, ma they made it to where it wouldn't work. So we need to patch the Kex back in. I'm not very good at explaining, but let's just go through the setups here. The setup here. So I'm in the United States. And not now. And you can see that no Wi-Fi networks will show up, and that's just because uh, the KEX aren't patched yet, so just do my computer does not connect to the internet. Or if you do have a wired connection, I believe you can actually do that. I'm not sure, though. I haven't tried it. So I'm just going to do this one. Continue. And, you know, whatever. Continue. And just give this a moment here. And there we go. Ooh, whoa. I must have uh, I must have clicked it more than once. Continue. And then uh, you don't have to do this. You can just click not now. And agree. Agree again. And then you create your account. So I'm going to be putting in... Oh, God, my typing is awful. And then you can just do this. I'm going to make my password something super secret. And then just give this a moment here. And we can do this, or we can customize, which... You know, uh, you know, I'll turn it on, fine, Apple. And I'm not going to share. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing it just because. I'm going to set. I'm just going to click continue. Uh, I don't care. Not now. And I'm going to choose dark mode because I'm cool. Okay, just give this a moment. And I believe it's loading the desktop. <laughs> now, this process, like actually installing, took a, about half an hour for me. So, uh, also, I wouldn't trust the ed estimated time remaining because it actually ended up getting done faster than it said it would. Like, it would say 14 minutes, and then it shut down, and then it actually booted into it. So, like, I wouldn't trust it. But as you can see, we are into Big Sur now. So, I actually don't... Hold on a second. Oh yeah, it's still loading stuff in. Here we go. And we are into Big Sur. Next thing you'll want to get going to want to do is go back into your install Mac OS Big Sur USB and open the patched Sur app. I don't know why I have two, but I do. So I'm just gonna open one. This uh this little thing is actually slightly uh, a new version of this patch sir app did come out 0.1.2 but I didn't uh put the new uh version of the uh USB this is pre-made so here we are just open the patched sir app and you'll oh yeah I almost forgot one thing you will need to actually restart your computer once you do get into Big Sur because if you try to pack patch texts without restarting you'll come up with an error so make sure you restart <laughs> I almost like forgot to say that so sorry about that but uh, just give it a moment to uh, restart and it should not take that long if you do have an SSD anyway so I'll just leave this uh, camera on here so we'll just give this a moment here Oh, and at this point, you will not need your uh, USB anymore if you copy the patch sir over to your applications folder. So we can put that to the side. 
and it's done. I don't know why my monitor decides to turn off whenever it's it it turns on. It's like the computer turns on. I'm like, why? But we'll just give this a moment here. Sometimes I have to. There we go. So as you can see, we are into Big Sur. I'll type in my super secret password. And this will take a moment, and we are in. So you can still see that Wi-Fi isn't working, but we're about to fix that. So you'll just want to open the Patch Sur app again, click Patch Kexts, and it says patching gets gets your uh, your Wi-Fi, USB, and many other things to work. Without these Kex, your Mac would not be at its full potential on Big Sur. So we're gonna want to click Continue. And, oop, I gotta plug in the uh, USB. I thought you wouldn't need it anymore. But uh, if, you, if you unplugged it, plug that back in. Okay, there. And then you just need to type in your, your password from your user and click continue. For some reason, when you click enter, it doesn't go through. You actually have to click continue. And as you can see, it's installing the Kex now. Now this may take a minute. It didn't take that long for me. So uh, I'll just let this run. And as you can see, it is done. So we just need to restart once again. And we'll just give this a moment to close all the applications and shut down and restart. Now, uh, this wouldn't be possible with, of course, Ben Sova's, well, this, this, uh, this, like, process here would not be possible without Ben Sova's patcher, so I'm, like, very grateful he made this patcher so I can actually run Big Sur on my Mac. I just got my 2012, and it's, like, sad that Big Sur isn't supported on it because it actually runs pretty good. You'd think Apple would have supported it for another year, but, eh, you know Apple. So... Let's do the old button press again. Hate it when it does this. I need to get a new one. Okay, enter the password once again. I'll zoom out here. So as you can see, we are in. If we go to settings now, Wi-Fi and everything should be working now. So let's go to network. And you can see that Wi-Fi is working. So let's see if it'll show some networks here. Or let's go up here actually. Here we are, you can see all of these networks are now showing up. Let me connect to my internet. Huh, it didn't even uh, make me put in the password. That's kind of weird. Okay. Well, uh, that is Big Sur running on a 2012 Mac Mini, or just any unsupported Mac, really. You can see these are the specs of my machine right here. If you want to pause that, read it, whatever. But uh, yeah, we're done. So uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on my next video.